What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 page, or you can catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And today we're going to be looking at another, uh, this seems to be from the same area that I keep putting up videos. I've got two already that say Egyptian uh, style carvings on Mars, something along those lines, if you go check my videos before. Um, this was actually posted on the Mars Anomaly Research Society out on Facebook. It's uh, dude, these guys are awesome. A lot of people doing research. I forget exactly what researcher this is, but if you go join that Facebook page, you'll see this. And you know, this stuff gets found by so many different people. It's hard to actually just say, you know, okay, this person found it, that person found it. I had someone come on my channel the other day and totally rip me. <laughs> it was pretty lame you know about doing one of these and I never claimed to and if you've watched my videos I never claimed to find these and even the ones I do find I don't even say I find them I'm just going through the known anomalies so you can see them so I can see this so we could take a look at them together and see what happens but anyway to that dude sorry buddy <laughs> anyway <laughs> you know it's it's you don't want to fight with these trolls sometimes but yeah you know, people get upset I know if he did a bunch of work on it I can understand that but don't come be a prick on my channel but anyway here we go. We're looking at a. Uh, I'll show you back out and show you the whole thing. And uh, we're looking at something. I think this looks pretty much like Puma Punku or the like Egyptian style uh, carvings. If we look down here, you've got a perfectly cut out rectangle and what looks to be a statue of a some sort of gray alien in there and it this photo actually has what I call uh, obstruction uh, they've blurred out some parts of this video and when I see the blur marks I know that somebody's hiding something when they put it out I, why do they even put it out I, w I think there's people at NASA that want us to know what's going on um, but you think if you're gonna have to you know use the the blur tool a little bit <laughs> why even do it why even put it out just act like this never came down from the rover but anyway let, let's go ahead and I'll show you the uh, website because I always get this from people saying oh you photoshopped you did this you did that here we go bam 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 marsrover.nasa.gov gallery all one p2454 blah 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 dot jpeg so there it is um, and for people who wanted to see it and roll, thank you for watching. And uh, for the rest of us, let's go look at this video. There's, there's a, this picture. There's a lot in here. So if we start out down there, you've got what looks to me like that Egyptian statue. And I'll, I'll bring it up here. And, and it, it does look to be exactly rectangle and hollow out. Now, I'm also looking at these blocks here. This one right here this one and how this has kind of like uh, you know it almost looks like kind of like an eye like the all-seeing eye there you see that a couple places in this video um, yeah, I, I believe that Mars was ravaged by something whether it had been a uh, catastrophe war I think at one point Mars was just as beautiful as our planet and in many ways still is if you see the new high res stuff that came back from the, glo the global uh, surveyor it's gorgeous some of this stuff um, but we're looking well, I'm looking here at these rocks and how uniform they are um, how uniform they are how uniform they are and how they look to be stacked on top of each other and as if they've fallen down and if you've looked here you can see that stuff has been falling down off of here so and who knows how long it's been doing it because we have these sandstorms that come through and rip up stuff it, in Mars it really tears stuff up we've seen cyclones we've seen all sorts of things now let's go look at a couple of these other anomalies right here we've got this to me that looks very one to uh, it almost looks like an engine block in my you know my eyes I say that's an engine block look our head for a uh, you know for a three cylinder car <laughs> or possibly six cylinder over here we've got a lot of these uh, what look to be cut out in the back another one here it looks to be that rectangular shape and uh, this could like this I've always this is a whole nother planet this could just be how the wind makes stuff there but it's to me if you look at all my videos I'm coming to the conclusions that, that you know life was on Mars and uh, check this out almost like a totem pole 
coming on down down here here's where some of the obstruction is if you see here this uh, looks a lot blurrier than right here and that's not because it's not in in focus it's because it's been blurred out you can tell because that area right there the pixels are smaller um, and what I noticed here earlier today was something like a uh, let me see if I can make this just a tad bit bigger oh no I don't want to fill up the whole screen okay there we go what looked to be like a cable here and see this over here that's like a uh, it's overhanging this cliff here like that could be May, you know, maybe Mars life had to go underground. Who knows? But I think the, a lot of the stuff we're seeing on the surface, and Mars is not, our NASA is not stupid. They would send their rovers to where we think life used to be. I mean, that, that why would we send it anywhere else? They, we've got a lot of satellite imagery of the planet before we sent, started sending rovers. We knew, and if you look at that old satellite imagery, you can see where the bases were. You can see, just look at my old videos. Um, but let's go back here because it looked let me see if I can find this again I had it I was looking at it yesterday almost like there's a cable here and it would come down and there was kind of a arc where'd you go where is it you know of course I get on here I should have looked before I hit play on this let me see if I could just you know let me do one more thing here let me pull this up and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit of brightness, not much. And I'm going to sharpen it just a little bit. Yeah, so we can see just a little bit clearer what's there. And of course I don't see it. But I think the cable came down here, through here. See it? I mean, you might not see it. I see it. Something, uh... And where'd that go? Well, I'm not going to sit here and take up the time sitting here looking for it, but you might say, oh, there you are. Here it is. See how this right here has an arc to it? Almost like uh, it, it actually goes into this next thing. Like this was maybe part of the cables and who knows what was here, ropes, what, what you know could have been there. Um, you think after so much time, but if there's not much rain on there now, the weathering would just come from the sand being blown around, things like that. But if you look at this is just a very interesting spot. And uh, let me go down to that main anomaly again. Oh, you know, come on, let's take a couple, look a couple things up here. This looks to be carved out. And I don't think this was here before. If you took this out, it would look like another one of those perfect slots. Uh, looks like this stuff has just fallen down. If you look here, you get circle, 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 circle. That looks like something interesting. You've got this three perfect lines there and let's go down here and we'll go ahead and get out of here for you and like I said look at look at this the symmetry of these rocks and let's make this big I know and I know it's gonna be hard to see there once you make it big it gets blurry um, but like if you look at it it's been cut out it almost looks to be cut out perfectly just like you see in Puma Punku or Egypt and there's something laying in there just like you see in Pumapunku or Egypt, a statue or something like that. So, much love guys. Let me know what you think. This one, uh, you got to use your imagination on this one. Um, it might not convince you. I was, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is something right here. And especially because this is an area that the rover has been to. I've done other videos of this area. I believe there's something. Let me put this back down here. It's very whited out on top of it. Oh, here's another one thing I wanted to show you. This right here looks to be rounded off. See that? It looks like two rocks. It looks like one rock that's been taken and rounded perfectly, just like that. And maybe it was part of a, a water delivery system. Maybe it was part of something else. But something about that struck my fancy as being interesting. Um, a lot of symmetry. You might see more here. Go download it from NASA. See it and let me know what you think on the comments. You know, I, I listen to your comments. Uh, I'm going to do some more Curiosity rover stuff. I've got a lot of satellite pictures that I'm going to do. Really, really high res stuff where the pixels are very good for, uh, it's like pixel, how many pixels per feet or pixels per meters, depending on uh, who sent the rover or sent the satellite up. So I've got a lot of them coming out. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. I just hit basically at night I say okay I'm gonna do a video I hit record I pull the picture up 
and we do it. So not much science goes into this, not much thought. It's, you know, I've seen these. I hope you see it. Much love. www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit the subscribe button. Much love.